Hey everybody, it is that time. Time for my three picks as we get ready to pick three games for the week of September the 29th of 2018. Before we pick our games for this week, let's go ahead and review last week's picks. And last week, the Coin and I were successful on Georgia, Missouri. We decided to take the over on the total, which was in the mid-60s. Georgia and Missouri combined for over 70 points. So that was a winner for both the coin and yours truly. Now, end up winning as well, I did, on West Virginia, Kansas State. I thought the Mountaineers giving 15 and a half. I thought that wasn't enough. So I took the side of the Mountaineers, came out a winner. West Virginia easily covering over K-State. The coin thought that K-State would benefit from those 15 and a half points. And obviously, it didn't turn out that way. So I won on that one. The coin lost. But we both lost on TCU, Texas. I thought that TCU, being a slight favorite and having so much success against Texas recently, would win out. But this is a different TCU team. It's definitely a different Texas team that we saw in the past. Texas covered. As a matter of fact, Texas won straight up. So both the coin and I lost there. So here's how the coin and I stand right now. Um, I have a documented record of 8-3-1. And, and I extend my lead by another game over the coin, which means I lead by two games over the coin. The coin is at six, five, and one. Dad, you need a hand. Hi, who's that? That's the helping hand mom gets with Hamburger Helper. All right, let's uh, dive into our games for this week. And we're going to stay in the Big 12. We're going to stay with Texas. You might think the Longhorns, after that victory, might have a little bit of a let up. And you might think they're looking ahead to Oklahoma, the Red River showdown for next week. I don't think that's going to be the case at all. And if you need any more confirmation, how's Kansas State going to score and score regularly against the Texas defense? That's pretty good. I know the game's in Manhattan, but if your offense is struggling, which K-State's is, I don't see the home field advantage amounting to much. Give me Texas in the game, minus the eight points. If the coin lands on heads, likes the favorite, tails is going to go with the underdog. The coin is going to go with heads. Hamburger Helper can help you make a delicious hearty skillet dinner in a snap. Okay, we have saved the two juiciest picks for right now. The two biggest games this weekend, a couple of top ten matchups. Let's begin at South Bend. Primetime showdown between Notre Dame and Stanford. And you got to give Stanford credit for their come-from-behind win against Oregon. Oregon not only should have won the game, but should have actually blown them out. But they allowed the Cardinal to stick around. Stanford got big plays, and over time, the Cardinal prevailed. But I don't foresee that happening this week against a Notre Dame team whose defense is very strong. And by the way, the offense is really starting to come around in the pressure performance on the road, passing their first road test at Wake Forest. I look for Notre Dame, though. I look for the defense to really contain Bryce Levin in this game. I look for Notre Dame to win. Give me Notre Dame minus the six. And the coin, well, it's going to go with Notre Dame. I'm home. How's dinner? Dad cooks real good. <laughs> Even though he's all thumbs. And finally, another top 10 matchup, and this one's in prime time as well. Ohio State at Penn State, the Big Ten East really hanging in the balance for this particular matchup at State College PA. Penn State, they're going to white out the stadium. It is going to be loud. It's going to be one hell of an atmosphere. I'm going to take the angle, though, on the total, which I think is too high. It's at 69 and a half. I know both offenses can play. I know there's playmakers on both sides. I think 69 and a half is way too many, so give me the under. I'm going to take the under on the total, which is 69 and a half. If the coin lands on heads, it likes the over. Tails, it likes the under. Give it a good flip, and the coin is going to go with the over. Hamburger helper, when you need a helping hand. Oh, uh, yes, makes you want to have some hamburger helper, some chicken helper, some tuna helper, whatever your preference is. It certainly has been a grocery favorite for so many. So, those are my picks. The coins picks, what were yours? Don't forget, my Oklahoma Baylor postgame will be sometime Sunday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week on my three picks. So long, everybody.